today's video I'm going to react and analyze another Dar Straits video. This suggestion comes from Aris Sultanik says, thanks, great review. Please review Dar Straits Private Investigations Live on the night 1993 HD. So that's what I'm going to do. Before we start though, let me address one thing that's been happening in the comments. There's been a few comments who's been saying, how can guitar teacher not know Dar Straits or this particular performance. I come from Czech Republic and Western music, meaning all these big bands of 70s, Pink Floyd, Deep Purple, Rush, um, you know, Dark Straits, were quite hard to come by. It wasn't so obvious that we would listen to this on the radio. And here's a funny fact for you. I remember listening to Stevie Wonder's, what was it? Um, what's this one? <laughs> Sir Duke. And it was with Czech lyrics by Czech singer, uh, her name is Helena Vondráčková. And until I got more into music when I was like 17, I, I'd never heard the name Stevie Wonder and I had no idea that this was his song. The reason behind this is because Czech Republic used to be part of the Eastern Bloc. We had communism for 40 years. When I was growing up, it was already opening, but it was still not quite as obvious. So yeah, that's the reason why sometimes I, I may seem ignorant about some of these songs. I was quite lucky that my dad was a music collector, so he would introduce me to a lot of this stuff, but not quite everything. Okay, so we have Dire Straits, Private Investigations, Life on the 9th, 1993. Hope you enjoy. Reminds me of some Alan Parsons project. Such a gentle touch. Loving the shirt, by the way. Take away, but we 
Let me stop it here for a second. I'm gonna grab my Spanish guitar. I was actually thinking to take this one for this reaction. Actually, it sounds more like E minor now. Wow, again, very different from the previous ones I've reacted to. Beautiful, low voice presentation, basically just saying story. It's my private investigation. Very Spanish vibes. Beautiful. He plays this spread voicing. This is basically just a root note, interval of fifth over octaves. And then these beautiful Spanish E licks. I'm not surprised that Mark Knopfler is very universal in terms of acoustic and electric guitar because his style, his finger, finger picking, I wouldn't say it's classical or I wouldn't say it's popular guitar style, it's his own style, a unique style, I really don't know anyone else who plays like this, but it works very well with acoustic guitar, especially with the Spanish one because the Spanish guitar usually sounds a little bit better when you play with your fingers, they are not built for picks. Before we get to the rest of the song, you're noticing how he's directing the band by either his hand. There was a moment throughout the beginning when he showed like, gave them a signal and when to go on the accent. Now with his guitar, boom, boom. It's because this song is very floaty in terms of the tempo. It's floating, it's slowing down, speeding up. What I've noticed about Mark Knopfler so far, he's very good at combining arpeggios, playing the chord notes. So if you have like, for example, here, chord E minor, the chord has three basic notes in it, which is E, G and B. And if you play these notes, which is very convenient to play with those fingers like that, as he does, he's able to flow through the harmonies very naturally. Then to create the contrast, he combines it with some chromatic lines like this. So semitones, single fret apart, so like... Things like that. A lot of guitarists uh, can stay just with a pentatonic. If you can outline the harmony of the solo, it's gonna sound much more like you know what you're doing. Uh, I'm curious what's about to happen.
हार्ट भी Okay, so where is this? Is it like a Colosseum? Where is it? If you were there and you felt the atmosphere, felt the community of the people who were there, it must have been such a transformative spiritual experience. The subtlety of the single notes on the bass, just boom. Boom, boom. These things are only possible thanks to amplification, right? Like in the past, singers would have to learn how to sing very loudly because there weren't any microphones. Musicians would have to be seated in an orchestra in a particular way based on which instrument is louder and which one is quieter. But since we invented amplifiers and speakers, we can bring music to so many more people and we can amplify the subtlety of the expressions, which is beautifully seen here it's very minimalistic there's barely anything happening but their presence and their seriousness i always want to say like a reverence this is what art is about this is actually something i want to sh share with you from this book <laughs> it's interviews with albert murray great book about music and blues and afro-american culture there is one quote i like to read for you about art what art is and i'm gonna leave you with that because i don't want this video to be like for ages the quote says we could say that art is a means by which you process raw experience into aesthetic statement. Then, when you get the aesthetic statement that feeds back into general human consciousness and raises their level of perception of possibility in the face of adversity. I think Mike Knopfler and Dark Straits show exactly what it's about, the subtlety of expression, mastery of performance, Beautiful. Thanks for recommending this. As always, please consider supporting this channel by using Buy Me A Coffee. If you're a musician yourself and you're interested in working with me or interested in some coaching, just book a free consultation down below and we can discuss how I can help. You always share so much great information in the comments and you educate me greatly, so please keep doing that. It's really helpful for me. Thank you so much for taking your time and commenting on my videos. Please subscribe, give this video a like to help me out with the algorithm. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Keep it funky.